So, um, students of the quarter, uh, all the way down. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to read a short paragraph about your greatness to be student of the quarter, and then you're going to come on up. We have an award certificate for you. And shake Mrs. Skipper's hand with your right hand. So, with your left hand, you reach for the award, and then you're going to turn right to the camera and you see right to the camera. So we have this. You know, this is Big, big deal here. It's on, on television. And we're going to start with the fifth grade and work our way back so you can see how everyone goes. So Keen will be the first one for that. Before I get started, is there anything that, any questions? Perfect. So moms and dads, special uh, attendees in the audience, thank you for coming today. This is a really exciting event for us. It's one of, many, one of the many fun things we do here, but this is always a fun time. In front of you, uh, your children, they were all chosen a student of the quarter for our second quarter here for Benjamin Brown. I have a short paragraph to read about their greatness, so to speak. And at the end, there's going to be plenty of time for pictures. We also are going to have ice cream for everyone. And um, so that's, that's going to be at the very end. But we'll have that. We're also available to be in pictures and take some pictures. And we'll just thank you for coming. Any questions or concerns? Super. Just awesome. congratulations to the students because you work so hard for us. You know, your teachers, you're going to hear your teachers say such nice things about you. And you're going to hear things about how hard you worked and what a good classmate you were and what a good leader you were. You're going to hear that word in some of the write-ups. So we're very, very proud of you, as I'm sure your parents are. And we thank the parents as well. You're always such a great part of the community and coming out to celebrate this. So this is one of our favorite events to do. So congratulations. Excellent. So let's start with our fifth grade class, Miss Dumas's classroom. Kian Nuch, you can come up forward. <laughs> Kian has had an amazing quarter. He has completed all of his assignments with enthusiasm and integrity. He is an attentive, cheerful, and friendly member of the class. He is conscientious and takes pride in the work well done. His sense of humor and willingness to help others has made him one of the most well-liked members of the class. Capitalize way to go, Kian. We're all proud of you. Miss <laughs> Davis's fifth grade classroom, Magnus Anal. It is my pleasure to name Magnus as student of the quarter for the second quarter. Magnus is truly a star student. He is never afraid to volunteer in class and always makes a considerate contributions to classroom discussions. He shows interest and enthusiasm for the things we do. He comes to school each day prepared. Magnus is, a, is making fine progress academically and excels in all subject areas. He has great potential and strives with the best he can. He is a pleasure to have in my fifth grade classroom. Keep up the good work, Magnus. Fourth grade, Mrs. Cliggett's room, Rosalind Balfour, also known as Rosie. <laughs> Rosie is a very strong student who comprehends all that we study at a deep, deep level. She is an excellent participant during discussions, listens critically, and asks thoughtful questions. There was never a question that Rosie was excelling in all areas, but then came our animal research reports. <laughs> With the goal of learning how to find main ideas, write good topic sentences, produce a multi-paragraph report, and combine information from at least two sources. Taking on the challenge offered and warned about, Rosie studied elephants and got information from many more than two sources as well as entire challenging books. Rosie then patiently worked through her organized research notes to turn them into extremely well-written paragraphs. She soon found that she just she soon found that just the top subtopic of description was two pages long alone. If anyone knows of a university looking for an elephant expert, <laughs> Rosie is the person to ask. That's awesome. Good job, Rosie. Fourth grade, Mrs. Jasper's room, Lydia Bankston. <laughs> Lydia puts forth her best effort each and every day. She is a wonderful student who is motivated to learn. She asks for help goes to homework club and makes sure her level of effort is extremely high on, on, in every day in all her written work. She increased her star testing scores in reading by one grade in three months, as well as her math scores by two years, all this since September. 
She is a model student and tries to make sure everyone is included in at recess. She chooses to be a buddy, not a bully. <laughs> Third grade, Mrs. Creedon's class, Shizuko Petrovsky Harris. <laughs> it is a pleasure to award the student of the second quarter to Shizuko Petrovsky Harris. Shizuko is filled with exuberance for learning. She is always the first one finished with her work and looking to do more. She shines academically and is hungry to learn more. She puts forth her best effort in her work and her eagerness to help others. She has a zest for life. Shizuko has a quick mind and a kind heart. She is ever ready to participate, to share, to assist, and to listen. Congratulations, Shizuko. <laughs> Student of the quarter, third grade, Mr. Stadl's room, Ronan Becker. Ronan puts forth excellent effort in, in, into his work each and every day. He, is always, he, he also always follows directions and he regularly sets a positive example for his peers. Ronan is kind and considerate to his classmates. He demonstrates a positive attitude in his schoolwork each day. He's helpful, he's kind, he's one of the first to help others when he's done. He's an excellent student. Great job, Ronan. <laughs> Second grade class, Mrs. Lynch. I have it back. I have it back. One second. Lucas, I have it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Second grade, Mrs. Miller. Anna Rice, come on down. <laughs> Anna is a worthy recipient of the Superintendent's Award for grade two. Anna comes to school ready to work eat hard each and every day. She's taken the time to get to know herself as a learner and she works hard in areas in which she needs to make progress. Her ability to persevere when things are challenging is commendable. And also it has an unwavering sense of fairness which she uses in lots of thoughtful ways. It's not surprising that Anna's peers describe her as someone who is kind and caring, fair, neat and organized, creative and artistic, and hard working. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> Grade two, Mrs. Lynch, Lucas Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas has been, a, has been chosen as student of the second quarter for many various reasons. The first being he consistently uses personal best effort on a daily basis. He is, self, he is a self-motivated worker who is admired by his classmates. Lucas is always focused on the task at hand and always, always willing to help and lend a hand to those who may need one. Overall, Lucas is a wonderful role model and an inspiration for the rest of his classmates. First grade, Mrs. Bourne's class, Braden Wright. Come on down, Braden. Braden Wright was nominated for Student of the Quarter for the following reasons. Braden is always working on a skill he wants to master, from learning and practicing sight words to mastering the use of the hundreds chart. He is always pushing himself, both in and out of the classroom. Braden is, is working hard to reach his goals. This quarter, he has worked so hard to learn his sight words that we've seen a great improvement in his reading as a result. Congratulations, Braden. <laughs> Mrs. Berube's first grade class, Flory Bolden. <laughs> Flory sets a good example in our class each and every day. She always follows directions and tries her best in everything she does, and her efforts show in all of her work. Flory has shown great progress in reading and math, and her confidence in all subject areas, and as an individual, has blossomed as a result. Flory always volunteers to help her classmates and teachers, and she truly deserve the re deserves the recognition of student of the quarter in Mrs. Brewery's first grade class. <laughs> great job, all of you. Excellent work. That is the end of the presentation of awards. Now, if we would like to have pictures with parents and or um, we have ice cream on the way up here. I don't see, it hasn't seen it arrive yet, but I'll make sure that we get that. Um, bring the ice cream. Yes, we're bringing ice cream. So, congratulations all, do great job. One last round of applause for our students. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.